Hi, this is Anna. I'm going to show a one-stroke demo of a race car today from a customer's request. I'm using a low Cornell Flora brush. It's just a really nice brush for making the shapes of the car. Um, you can use the pointy tip if you want, or you can kind of angle it to get a filberty effect without pressing the tip down strong. So I'm making a stripe across the middle of my forehead and then I'm going to put a stripe over each eyebrow. The dark color is going to go all the way around the edges. And I'm just going out to the edges of my eyebrows, not any further. I'm going to make a little stripe in the middle. That's going to be where the hood is. And then a stripe across the top, just with the tip of the brush and down on the sides to make the roof of the car and the sides framing the windshield. Now I'm going to load a brush up with I'm going to sponge up with black and I'm going to tap it over my eyelids and that's going to give me the tires. I'm using a little purple round splash sponge to make those little stamps. I'm going to lower my car a little bit more so I'm going to go over that stroke and add an extra one at the bottom just so it doesn't look like my car is floating way up high above the tires. I'm using a bolt liner number two to fill in the windshield you can do it a little faster if you use maybe like the bolt medium angle brush here, but this works. Oops. Alrighty. And now I'm going to add some more details. I'm using that floral brush again, loading one side in global white, and then I'm going to flip it over and load the other side in global dark blue. It's going to give me a white stamp with a dark blue edge and then as an angle I'm going to put it down two sides and flip so that I have a white circle with some blue gradient on the sides. These are going to be the super big awesome amazing headlights that are going to give this car a lot of character. Now using the bolt liner I'm just doing some cute little outlines and that's the grill. It's like a trapezoid if you have it pointing the long side up, then it looks like a smiling car. If you flip it over the other way, it looks like a tougher car. I'm just going to do a little uh, mirrors there and some shading under the hood with some red. And now I'm back to black and I'm adding a little symbol. You can put whatever symbol you want for your car if you get special requests. And now I just need to outline the rest of this guy. If you load your one stroke with a cake that has black on the edge, um, you could try to avoid having to do all the outlining around the outsides of the car. But I just used the brighter parts and left out the black just so that it looked really, really bright. Now I'm doing tiny lines for the headlights and outlining some more. Vroom, vroom. Outlining the little mirrors. Room. Oh, wow. That was ten intense. Okie dokie. I'm adding some little extra accent lines that are just mimicking the shapes that are already there. It's like the seams in the car. And then some quick highlights, little angled highlights to shape those headlights and some little tiny dots inside the grill, uh, steering wheel, highlights, highlights, highlights. In the final picture I highlighted the hood right where it closes but I forgot to do it in the video so if you look at the final picture you'll see a little hood right over the edge where you open it and that makes it stand out even more. Now I'm loading up that same round sponge with some white because I realized I could use the tap tire tracks and make my tires look really real and really cool. So I'm positioning my mirror and tapping some very dry paint through the stencil so that it doesn't get too smudgy. And now I've got to dry it up before I can open my eyes. Vroom, vroom. There we go. I think I'm getting too into this. Okay. Let's see what the finishing details are going to be. I'm tapping some texture on the outside. This is the Creepy Texture Tap Stencil. It's great for adding creepy lines on zombies and mummies and scarecrows, but it's also just a cool background for cheek art or forehead art. 
looks kind of like scratches in the pavement. Gives a little action. Yes! Alrighty. So there is Funstroke Mexico. And I'm just using the Flora and the Bolt Round Liner. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Boom, boom.